<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you get out there, dude, there's no way you can do anything but go through it. Power through it. Nuka. You're right, though, the way that the, uh, the bow. It's right here. More than once. I'm telling you. It was up maybe 30. We were up 30 degrees, maybe. The boat was about a third up of the water. Oh, oh, oh. So here we are on our sail to Florida. Another beautiful sunrise. We had a great night. Spit up some shifts. Matt, what do you think about today? Beautiful sunrise. Uh, it's a good start of a day. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good day. Wind? Wind's picked up a bit. All that struggle we had last night with those sails. No problem right now. We got the good wind. The waves are great. About 10 more hours to go. We're going to be in sunny Florida. Can't wait. It's going to be good. Angie, there. How about Mocha? Mocha enjoying that trip? Yeah, I woke her up, but she was uh, resting quite heavily downstairs. <laughs> All right. What a beautiful day. Finally, the seas were calm, the sky was blue. The sun was out and we had wind. We turned the motor off and had a wonderful sail down towards Florida. What a beautiful day. Been. It's been good, been active, had a good wind, and now we're coming to a close. We have about 30 minutes on this on this tack, and then we'll be going into the inlet. So wind is picked up, 18, 20 knots, waves are picked up, and I think we're in a groove just as we're bringing this two-day passage to an end. But everything's been good, Tony's been good, Nancy, I'm trying to keep up. Everything's great. We've been fed well too, right? Yep. We have been fed well, Nancy. Taking care of the boys. And also, hey, I got to say this, Olivia, I know you're probably never gonna see this, but you might. You are a great cook. Keep it up, thank you. We've been well fed. I really love that chocolate pudding too, so. All right, we're motor selling, got the sales out. Have some speed. Yep, good day. Florida, everybody! Woo! Yes! There's a million island 
right there, Amelia. White Florida beaches. You ready to swim, Libby? Yes. It's cold outside, silly. We're not I've swimming. I've already put my feet in the water like 20 times this whole trip. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a little, little breezy coming through here. But we're going 8.4 knots. A little current helping us, a little motor. 15 knots of wind on a beam. We'll catch up to you once we get on anchor. So uh, here's my section of the clothing. Yeah, so. <laughs> Look at it from this angle. Matt, Come here. Matt, Matt's <laughs> been so gracious. We gotta get a video of this. Here we are. Look at that. The stash. <laughs> Those are the crew quarters over there. For one crew. crew. Quarters. For one crew. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We got pretzels and mustard tonight. And cleaning duty. How's cleaning duty going, girls? Good. Good. Show us the show us the bathroom. Okay, so well, nothing's finished. We're currently just letting like some vinegar sit on the floor to try to lift up just any like stuff, just stuff. Really, it's just to deep clean. And our counters kind of went wild doing sailing, so we're gonna pick those up. And that's literally about it. And like just wipe the doors and stuff with wood cleaner and wipe the windows, mirrors, uh, and the shower. Ah, it's glass. I'm sorry, I can't really show you that. What's happening in the galley? I'm making now? dinner. We've been That's sailing right for two days and we're gonna have a home cooked meal tonight. We're having some roasted carrots. The middle one worked. And we're going to have some cilantro and lime rice. This is cooking now. We've got half of an onion for the boys and some salmon. Where's okay. the salmon? Oh, and for me, do I get tofu, Mom? We didn't go to the store, remember? Tomorrow. What am I going to eat? Rice and... Well, well, I need carrots. Protein. And I'll give you some cheese or some peanut butter. There you go. Bread and milk. What? Oh, milk. And brownies. brownies. I don't have any brownies. You have cake, though. Have Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake it is. Hot cake is good with a big old glass of milk. Two percent or whole milk? What's the best with big old chocolate cake? Two percent whole milk or skim? We'll accept skim or goat. Drop us a comment down below. <laughs> and there is the mocha licking her paws. Stop it! She doesn't have anything else That's to eat. Gross! Stop! It's her appetizer. <laughs> oh my god! Just stop already! No! Oh. Mocha, mocha. She mocha. gave you the. F no licking. No licking. No, no, no. It's a good girl. Uh, <laughs> she's like, my mommy was talking There's to Tony. me. Oh, okay, let's ask Tony. Well, Tony. Go ahead. <laughs> ask me anything. We've made it to Anchor. Your first overnight sail in the Atlantic Ocean. How was it? Matt, I can't even put words to it. It was indescribable. And much different than I anticipated. Oh, okay. Because of the night sailing in the dark, the unknown, the equipment, you know, it was just amazing that um, how much simpler it was than I had anticipated. Really? And you guys, Nancy was really good at helping me also go through some of the settings on the uh, all the Ray Marine equipment, uh -huh. and then of course you did with the um, you know which I was a little reluctant to use the autopilot because I was so used to hand hand steering but the autopilot was fabulous we saw a lot of ships who was able to see them on the radar so really to be on the boat and have that much electronics and equipment which is fabulous which I haven't had in the past was just unbelievable I mean it really was now I know I can do it I mean I didn't think I could before I wasn't sure and uh, so me and Kathy were always debating about getting the boat and what we would need and how it would be set up and now I see this Catalina is perfect and all the equipment was perfect. So I am so happy that I've got this experience. It, it's it's life changing, it really is. Day one or day two, which was better? Well, day one going out the inland, I got to admit, was it was pretty rough. Tell us about that inlet. Let's talk about that Whoa. inlet. <laughs> that inlet was, uh, oh yeah. It reminds me if you, um, 
Mm. If you put put a kid in a washing machine or something, I don't know. You know, it was just <laughs> all over the place. The boat, but the boat was so stable, it would take anything. When I when we came out and I was seeing the um, the actual boat dipping the bow through the waves, I was going like, oh no, this is going to be bad. And um, you know, but it didn't. The boat took it. So the first day was really rough out of the inlet. And then once we were out the inlet, also the waves, I mean, I, I, there was like three meter waves out there. They were violent. And uh, so, but once we got out, got out and it calmed down, it was great. But that first day was a, yeah, it was an eye opener. It's a, it'll make the difference that you, when you really want to sail or not. It was, no, that's true. it'll divide the boys, you know, that don't want to pretty so, quick. Did you like the first or second day better then? I like the second day, but I like the night. I like the night. I didn't think I would, but I really did like the night. Night is hard to pass up. It's good, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yes. We we moved a lot. I mean, 208 miles. Yeah. That was a lot for two days and one night. I mean, we were we were getting it. So yeah, it was it was great. Today was a good sail because it was much easier. Yeah. It wasn't so much motion. Glad you made it with us. So awesome. Man, I'm so glad that y'all invited me. I mean, this has just been a life changing experience. This is awesome. So I just uh, go along with what you say. You know, that if you want to do it and you got it in your blood, then get out there. Heck yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, how have you enjoyed being on Cadence so far? I've loved it. And I couldn't ask for any more hospitable people, including yourself. So I'm very, very thankful. What's been your favorite moment on Cadence so far? Oh, my favorite moment. Gosh, there's been so many. Uh, night selling was awesome, for sure. Um, the handling of lines. I really think um, if I had to say what, what I like best is the whole Foster family and the hospitality they showed me. I mean, uh, the boating has been great. I mean, I couldn't ask for any better experience. But everybody, Matt, Nancy, and Olivia have been excellent. They, but especially Matt. But especially, <laughs> especially Matt, because he said he was the best looking one. No, so, uh, I never said that. You know? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, and he also told me it was okay to grow a beard while yes. I was here. So yes. I've got a little stubble out there. So, uh, but anyway, the foster family are just excellent 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 people i mean we have lifelong friends yes absolutely so that's what i would say i would just say the camaraderie and being able to meet such great people how's the food oh the food well you know i needed to lose a little weight but i only gained like 30 pounds since i've been here <laughs> <laughs> so uh matt can definitely out eat me but he has a fast metabolism and uh, he doesn't show it, but the food has been excellent. I just couldn't believe it, how great they eat. They eat healthy and uh, small portions where you don't overdo, because that's what I wanted to do, not quite eat such so large portion. But the variety of food and the, it, it's been fabulous. I mean, I, I would have, uh, I mean, I thought I was in some kind of fancy restaurant. <laughs> We're eating uh, pretzels and mustard <laughs> right now. Oh, well, uh, you know, you can't always be healthy. And you know, the I guess the, um, the whole bag of Hershey's chocolates that I brought didn't help. Yeah, us you either. brought those. I brought those. <laughs> those are good. Yes, those were good. They were good. Are they all gone? Two bags? I think uh, so. We have one bag left. Okay. I can't find them. Oh. I've been looking. What's the next question? Do you like Catalinas as a boat? Do I do. Them? I had not considered a Catalina. I had, well, I, I saw one one time, but I never got the chance to go on it. So it was basically the Benito's, Noah's. You know, I, I didn't know exactly which one I was really thinking about. But this Catalina, oh boy, it's changed my thinking. I'm gonna definitely be out looking at the Catalinas now too. Man, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. Get some philosophy time. Okay, philosophy. All right, so this is philosophy to Olivia. Never, 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 never worry about failing. And if you want to start a little business or you want to start your own business or whatever, Olivia, don't worry about failing because the people that fail most become the most successful. If you look at every successful person that's ever succeeded in any kind of business, they just failed the most. So never look at that option. Uh, failure doesn't matter. And like Edison, for instance, 
fail like 10,000 times to get a light bulb produced. And But guess what? He did it once and it worked. And if it wasn't for that, we'd all be sitting in the dark tonight. So definitely don't worry about that. <laughs> Okay, we were just about ready to cook some food and Tony's like, what's that feel? What's that feel? There's a vibration on the boat. And Nancy goes outside and sure enough, the little boat next to us was dragging into us, hitting the stern of our boat. There's a uh, current coming in, the wind's blowing out. So the boats are shifting in different ways. And uh, he was hitting on us. It's like an abandoned boat, it looks like. Plus there was a fire. So welcome to Florida, the world of dilapidated and abandoned boats. And why did you let me record with my hair looking like this? I told you about that. Perfect. You said it looks good. Oh, it looks different. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's it looks great. That's so, a good. What look. about the the light situation? It's and good for you. and we almost had, and we almost had a boat fire. So buyer, let's see here. Look at this. This burned up. This bulb. Ooh, smells like electrical fire, doesn't smells it? Smells like electrical fire. So, uh, yeah, the whole bulb was kind of like flaming. It was like an internal flame. So, I guess running through the circuitry, what do you think? Yeah, loose connection. Loose then we connection. gotta replace the fixture. We're gonna replace the fixture. Now, to dinner. Let's get this done. Woo. Plus, we literally saw a fire inside of the fixture. It was, it was really it wild. Does stink. Yeah, you That's can smell, smell electrical fire bad. You know, yeah. So, anyway. Stopped it in time, saved the boat, and uh, didn't uh, didn't get the boat bumped up anymore. So it was good. Very chaotic. Yeah. All that engine and all that cooking. I might take my shower.